Today we're going to check out how to make this text in perspective here in Photoshop. And first I'm going to go with this artboard size and I'm going to paint the background black. And from here I'm going to split the screen in four parts. So let's go here to the crop tool and I'm going to go and select the slice tool and I'm going to select the artboard, right click on it and select the divide slice. And here make sure to check divide horizontal into and divide vertical into and I'm going to increase it to two by two. Click OK. So this way I can see where is the center exactly. From here I'm going to go and select the rectangle and I'm going to recolor the fill and I'm going to select this gray for example and I'm going to create a rectangle starting from the left all the way to the right. And I'm also going to bring this down somewhere here at this point. So I'm going to make a space in between this center point and the rectangle. And from here I'm going to press enter and press control T and press and hold control shift plus alt. And I'm going to go one of these corners and drag it and check this out. It is going to mirror distort the rectangle from both sides. Double click release. I'm going to press and hold alt to drag it upwards. Press and hold shift to isolate. Make it intersect at the top. Press control T. I'm going to press and hold shift to rotate. 180 degrees and from here I'm going to do the same thing on the left and the right I'm going to press and hold alt and duplicate press ctrl t press and hold shift or rotate 90 degree angles and I'm also going to double click and eventually I'm going to double click here on the layers thumbnail and I'm going to recolor it for example select the darker color click ok and I'm going to position it right into the center where they intersect press ctrl t press and hold shift and scale it down all the way like that and I'm gonna stretch it and I'm gonna press Control shift plus alt and narrow it down so anyways this doesn't need to be perfect and I'm gonna press and hold alt drag it into the opposite direction press Control t press and hold shift and rotate 180 degree angles so as you can see this is going to be the template but we're also going to use this as shading so from here let's go and select the type tool click somewhere here press Control t press and hold shift plus alt and scale it up by the way, I went with the Evangelion font. I'm also going to leave a link in the description so you can download it. And here I'm going to go to the text, double click. I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy this, enter Ctrl V and enter Ctrl V again. I'm going to press A and let's go here. And here you can set up the height distance. For example, here I'm going to go with 280 and I'm going to place it into the center. Press Ctrl T. And if you try to apply this shortcut again, it won't work. So what I'm going to need to do is right click on the font layer and select convert to smart object. So I'm going to press Ctrl T again. Now you can press Ctrl Shift plus Alt. Well, let's go and stretch it. And now I'm going to go and decrease the height and Ctrl Shift plus Alt. Press and hold Alt, drag it upwards. Press and hold Shift to isolate. Make it snap. Press Ctrl T, rotate upside down. And now I'm going to go with some other text on the side. So what I'm going to do is open up one of these layers with the text. Let's go to the thumbnail, double click on the thumbnail, and this is going to open up in a separate tab. Let's go and select the text, drag it and bring it back to the original composition at this tab here and drag and drop it. Here I'm going to change up this color. I'm going to go with orange, click OK. And I'm going to right click on the text, convert to smart object, control T. Press and hold shift and rotate at 90 degree angles and I'm going to place it here. And now we can do the same process, stretch it, bring it in and stretch it some more. So now I also can go to the box and recolor that as well. For example, I can double click on this one and switch up the colors like so. And I'm going to invert the colors. And about least I'm also going to apply some shading. So I'm going to press and hold shift, select all these rectangles, press control J to duplicate. And let's go and drag and drop on top of every each layer. And let's go to the fill, decrease the fill to all of them to zero. And here, for example, I'm going to go and select this layer with the rectangle, double click on it. And let's go and check the gradient overlay. And here I'm going to go to the gradient, click on the gradient. And here I'm going to go and change up these colors. I'm going to go to this white or light gray, click on it. Click on the color, I'm going to change it to black, click OK. And I'm going to go to the other one as well, change it to black, click OK. And now I'm going to go here to the first handle, to this one, and I'm going to select actually the top handle. And here you can see it's going to pop up the opacity on 100, and I'm going to decrease it to 0. Let's click OK. You also can customize the scale, I'm going to increase it more. There you go, click OK. 
And I'm going to copy paste this shading also on the other one. So I'm going to select this gradient overlay, press and hold alt and drag it and drop it on the other layer. And I'm going to drop it on the rest as well. And the rest of the ones, all you need to do is just rotate the gradient. For example, I'm going to go and select this second one, double click on the gradient overlay. And instead of 90, I'm going to go with minus 90. Click OK. And I'm going to go to this one. And here I'm going to go with zero, click OK, and let's go to the top layer with the rectangle. And this should be on 180 degrees. There you go, click OK. And about least, I'm also going to tilt this and rotate it. So I'm going to press and hold Shift, scroll all the way down, and I'm going to select all the layers, and I'm going to exclude the background. I right click, convert to Smart Object, press Ctrl T, and I can rotate and press and hold Shift plus Alt and scale it. And that's it.